I know it seems logical to take probiotics after antibiotics, but they probably won't work and might even hurt you. Let me explain. This was a pretty high quality study that showed no benefit from probiotics, lactobacillus and bifidobacter after antibiotic use, and they were trying to prevent antibiotic associated diarrhea and C. diff infection. This one showed no benefit from Saccharomyces boulardii. That's a yeast that can outcompete Candida, theoretically. Um, I have recommended this one to my own patients before. There are very, very specific times when these things can be helpful, but if you're just just grabbing something off the grocery store shelf, you're, you're likely just throwing the dice on this. And I really don't recommend doing that either because this study showed that not only were probiotics not helpful after antibiotics, but they actually slowed people's recovery. They, they recovered faster when they didn't take anything at all. Now that's not to say that probiotics have no place. Uh, fermented foods have been used in traditional cultures and medicine for a very long time to help gut health recover after using plants, plant medicines that have antibiotic-like effects because bacterial infections are nothing new, right? And so we have effective medicines to treat them even before uh, antibiotics were developed. And they have the same side effects as antibiotics, especially when overused or used inappropriately, like antibiotics often are. There are also cases in the literature of people who have gotten extremely ill from Saccharomyces boulardii when they are immunocompromised. And that's it's rare. That's people who have severe HIV, but it is a possibility. So like there's a risk to everything. Traditionally, to recover from inappropriate use of antibiotic like plant substances, we would use appropriate plants like Attractylodes, Baizu, um, Shanyao. This is like a super powered sweet potato. Also has a high DHEA content if you need that. Uh, a lot of resistant starch. And then um, this one down at the bottom is called Koisi Yiren. These have some modern scientific evidence too. This study showed that Shenling Baijusan, that's that formula, was effective for chronic diarrhea in adults. And then this systematic review and meta-analysis was not specific to Shenling Baijusan, but it's from the same kind of medical system. And it showed that it's very helpful for treating antibiotic-associated diarrhea in children. So there is a clear path to get free from the damage that antibiotics can cause you, but probiotics aren't it.